Attention gamers, every time a new champion comes out in League of Legends, three very specific things happen. First every streamer YouTuber and content creator embarks on a race to find 9 of their most simpleton style viewers who play at a skill level just above where people would think they are actually bots just so they can stomp their debut on this champ in a custom game and be the first to post some propaganda video about how it's the most broken busted high tech invention since sliced bread and for those of you who beat their meat nightly before bed deep into YouTube algorithm research, you know that this is called trend jacking. The second thing that happens is that everyone and their uncle wants to mimic these heavily facade YouTuber performances thinking they themselves will be able to do just as well against real humans that don't fit the simp suck ass skill level requirements that us content creators need for our deception. And this results in every lobby consisting of 10 players and 2 grops trying to first pick lock in this new liquid sex of a champ only for you to go down a mouth breathing marathon of dodged lobbies and now people like Donny over here who only has a 1 hour break from their janitor shift at a traveling circus just trying Trying to get into a game so that they can get tilted loose and declare their deep hatred for their life before having to go back to cleaning piles of rainbow excrement out of the makeshift shitter they built into the clown car they all live in. And this brings us to the third thing in the theme of this video. When the golden ticket recipient of each game gets to play the latest and greatest champ worth sitting through 4 hours of dodge lobbies, they feed their ass off and ruin the experience for everyone else. So if you are excited for me to follow along and highlight the behavior of one of these new champ spammers while showing how it still managed to ruin my experience this game, please slap that like button silly and let's get into it. Okay so our team's jungler got first pick which means the blonde pile of uselessness riding her deflated elephant is what will be representing us in the forest and right off the bat you see swollen hand Sally waiting to be the opportunist to exploit the fact that watching one YouTube video where Joe Schmo stomps against bronze flamingos does not qualify you as having any clue what you are doing and neither does flashing to pet your dogs one last time before you give up first blood. Meanwhile I am bot lane hoping to have a successful game of 4 counten and sending whores to fountain with my arsonist zombie by my side when bam bush hook in to say hello to my hunchback dart farting ADC who is then greeted with a stunning amount of fire letting me slurp a dark harvey for the boys. Then we take it back to 1947 and do our best cold war reenactment until lantern larry gets the brilliant idea to buy an uber for his ADC straight to pound town except she doesn't like ubers and would rather walk so he arrives early and ultimately dead before I supervise brands burn singing bye bye birdie and glee. Then big surprise the metal mall cop is in our neck of the woods once again taking advantage of the fact that our jungler is playing a support and a shitty one at that so even though our top laner gives the sky some laxatives, she dies again. But roaming rap to the rescue only 20 seconds too late but if all it takes is a teammate death for me to look at my mini map then I call this progress as I seatbelt the slut so my support can give her that seer and then we patiently wait for Rift Alexa to inform us of her death. Right back to the jousting jagoff and since farming clearly isn't a possibility, she is going to try the ganking strategy and her first one starts off with her whiffing her only form of engage only to be stuck in tiptoe stance with like 8 movement speed as she gets titty twisted and literally auto attacked to death by Samsung Galaxy Oriana with ease. And since our jungler is blowing bubbles in base with her dead deflated elephant they have full reign to come down to my hometown and hatch a corrupted Godzilla crab which I don't appreciate at all so I thin beam the bitch and then boot up the long boy simulator. It takes one shot to warm up and then I let Thresh have a threesome with two and three which sets him over as my hooded midget employees do their best David impersonation to take down that slapping Goliath. And this gets them nice and fed as the next play when Phoenix fetishizer Quinn goes to great and dangerous lengths to backflip parkour off my face my little fed hoodlums come in clutch once again to finish her off. Enter miss plunge and punch but my teeny weeny wizards are pissed off and on a terror chasing their support like herding dogs back into river so I can count climax right in his face. Then of course my jungler deems it a good time to try and solo dragon with her ground breaking amount of damage so I scurry over to make sure she doesn't lose that 1v1 as well only to be informed of the next plot twist the dumbass doesn't have smite so now I have to go spinny revolver rendition to try and back off the bad guys from certainly stealing it until skelly shits flashes in so I desperately run back to make sure we secure the kill. And at this point I would rather be stuck in a convertible with JFK than in this dragon pit with Rel as she goes down easier than a baby after a bottle leaving me to inform this bird bitch that she isn't shit when Valor isn't carrying her. 
this leaves me with the chain banger and let me just say I had bad intentions for this guy until swollen hand Sally provides the block to my cock that I am oh so familiar with forcing me to flee. But luckily my backup arrives in the form of an Alaskan Eagle and some guy that got fired from his pyrotechnics job for lighting himself on fire one night so we wait for our top to TP and then bait them back in so hard you would think freaking Chris Hansen would be here. Bones dies first and then I miss a root shoot on a stunned target Gomi as scurvy Steve grabs the treasure for himself. Pan back to a walking depiction of the enemy team's future income as she decides her talents are best taken topside to meet and feed all kinds of new enemies as she confidently commands her steed to stupid shittersville where she is greeted by a 900 pound crab ready to bust all kinds of kneecaps on her, and despite me and the boys dropping everything we were doing to prevent the inevitable, she gets grabbed by the guts and digested before we are able to finish our game of stab the crab. Then our top laner finds himself in a worse position than a toothless man in a corn on the cob eating contest so I come up seeing that there are only 3 enemies and I have 4 shots so it shouldn't be a problem considering their ADC is effectively useless and I'm packing more dodge than a Durango slyly sidestepping all kinds of chaos before taking the bedazzled ballerina down second, leaving me 3 bullets for that boner boy which gets my nipples hard for the triple. And I am not sure if the spar slut blocked the result of her first encounter with Mr. Waternoose out of her head or if she just has some fetish for getting repetitively river fucked by a crab as she blindly engages on him once again so despite me doing everything in my power to prevent the encore of the patheticness performance, she still dies when she could've just waited for me to get there first. Then we catch Miss Foil fists out in the open but thanks to a get out of jail free lantern she rides to safety so I pop a quick dark Harvey cherry and then boot up the triangle of terror to make those piggies dance, and dance they did until I say fear a t-car which in Swedish means four bitches. But a minute later when Rhonda the ratchet ass rhino rider ventures top to miss two of the three farm left under tower she gets a surprise visit from that fortnite skin looking ballerina until the virgin vortex sucks her in and slows her down just enough to get autoed to death by a mage for the second time this game. So then I come in after witnessing such an embarrassing display of the human capabilities knowing this glowing doll's bush bobbing ball gag routine as I flash through her first move only to get too cocky trying to serve my kill with a fade away leaving me with a flaccid dick tucked between my legs on a grade A pussy pursuit and since these red robe dickwads didn't pass the purple drank to her, I have to blind snipe for the kill. Then one of those miniature subordinates starts going full blown exorcism on us and at this point I am thinking I am 10-1 with my support in the area so bring it Mr. Waternoose only to be painfully reminded that this is League of Legends and I am playing a scum of the earth ADC against this kneecap busting monstrosity of 200 years so yeah I die and then my support cauterizes the crime scene in my honor. We rush down mid and Vi rounds the corner to a resounding oh shit surprise as you get an encore performance of me sucking total asshole at this game but thanks to a sky diarrhea giant ice cube and my old friend the harvester of dark we take her down guess who it's the puffy haired blonde dumb shit on her stone steed once again caring about her positioning just about as much as a porn star cares about getting her nudes leaked which results in her doing her undick let's dance routine as she manages to do an unnoticeable amount of damage before she dies then despite anyone in this game being able to identify one thing she has done to warrant this type of confidence she mocks the mall cop by caressing the pissy plant that almost mistimes her grand escape only to immediately get buyer's remorse because she is now missing out on her 11th death so she jumps straight back into the danger she just dramatically escaped from and makes another donation to the Make a Mad Rap Foundation. Our frozen wing ding gets Larry lassoed to which I initially think he fucked up until the roided crab enters the lobby and we all go oh shit synchronously but don't fear feeding Rel is here as she pins the puppies for an additional second until that kneecap slapping monstrosity makes me flash one shot frustrated that shit like that exists in this game and then I make the mighty wise decision to turn myself into a stationary target and trade a crab slay for my own life at the buzzer. Small shout out to our gangplank full health full mana backing to base as there is literally world war 3 going on in our backyard so I run over and contribute by doing something that I am not completely proud of but for 700 g's I would do a lot worse if you know what I'm saying pervs and then I toss a vial of purple piss at the boner boy for a second shutdown. Then if there was ever a time where we had a chance to take down the crab walking abomination of brokenness it would be now but I sure as hell wasn't going to let him tap my ass and thanks to none of my teammates being able to even touch him. My plan to root him then scoot him back to base failed. And now here's a riddle for you. Where do things with 6 legs 12 kills and a recent escape from a situation where they should have died 10 times over again if Rav's team didn't suck a dirty anus go. If you answered in the bushes to kill our rel for the 7th straight time then ding freaking ding ding you are correct and despite having numerous opportunities to walk away and pass on that gas. 
she's just like magnetic to moronic decisions so she went back in and died then our top laner played a follow the dumb shit leader leaving me to just barely get my last cue off before two becoming victim to this dog shit game design where ergots doing things like that is a normal occurrence Back to mid and call my mid laner Tom Stud Muffin Brady as she leads their dub douche to perfection with an ice cube as I hit a conformacy cucker and she just barely taps the fuckboy express in time to live so I zoom way out to get a good look at my own incompetence and then I cancel that display of embarrassment and make up for it with a thicky thin boy. Then we all dance around in their jungle tripping over ourselves and doing shit that any plat plus player would be cringe cramping over until we catch them all cop out for a quick win until look who joins the party and we all know how that ends so just pan to the next scene already. Okay this is how that ended and now I am in base trying to defend against the forces of overfed creatures by launching the bad accuracy simulator and threading the needle on the hunchback hawk rider and considering that piece of useless trash was worth a bounty, you just know Rel has been hard at work in the background and speaking of the dumb devil she is deep in thought crafting her master plan to make up for her existence thus far by either stealing dragon or nabbing a surprise kill but thanks to her having the timing of a drunk dying sloth followed by a performance that won't be remembered, she accomplishes neither. And if you thought this was rock bottom you are in for a treat as she then proceeded to hit new lows of uselessness entering fights and dying without using abilities, continuing to pick fights with champions who have tattooed her dead face to their ass on repeat, and reliving her previous failures at stealing objectives only to play the part of a piñata in the shape of a naked hooker at a frat party and at the end you do see me or boy the gold wonder make sure that helmet hunchback gets her feathers fucked and then I launch a 4 at that crustacean whore. I then ran over and collected my paycheck from ass spanking that shitter before he could pop his ACLs onto me and then I started to get some hope that we could actually win the game as I tracked down Robocop Pink Floyd to bring my team dangerously close to an ace. And so I will let you make guesses at this point about if we won this game and I will show you two comparable final situations before casting your vote. We have this frozen hawk unsung hero of feeding this game all alone and vulnerable in each scene. The first I step in big daddy max slash cock to make sure that no one lays a finger on my flying ice cube. Then we see her in a similarly stupid situation but this time we have a first time slash my new main one trick rel there to save her which didn't go as well. So drumroll please if you guessed that the team that had a 2 and 19 rel won the game, then you sir would be wrong. How can I carry, when Rift Alexa won't stop saying. Enemy is 